Hello again. I wanted to share this. This is my 8051 simulator. And the problem is that some of the, the compilers, like Keel, they cost like thousands of dollars, or, you know, nearly $2,000. And uh, this one I found is, it should be free, I think, but, um, well, I paid like, I think it was like $10 for this. And it works pretty well. The, the, the upgrade on the screen is interference with this video, but there's nothing I can do about that. You can see here um, that you know, all the registers are functioning, like uh, P3 to light my LEDs up there. and. All the other registers here you have like memory areas you can look into it's really a very cool functional compiler and simulator it does um, regular C and it does as you can see here the program running in the simulator mode is each uh, scan of the green bar is an instruction being executed it does both and it is free it's called SDCC and you install SDCC which is free after you get this uh, right there if you can read it I'm not sure it says MC, MCU8051 IDE I uh, can't focus. There at the end, MCU8051 IDE. And you have many different options. Um, sorry, I was playing with this on the couch, and that's how it's going to be. Um, you have what they call virtual things. You know, you have like LED panels to light little LEDs. If you can see the panel there. And LED display, LED mattresses. You can like light little separate LEDs. Let me see if I put a port. I'm using a port. I might be able to light one LED. I'm using port one, I think. And let's say bit, bit two. And. I'm not using port one, I'm using port one. Uh, oh, here's the port, port one. Uh, bit, bit zero. So you see, we lit one there. And it goes off. I don't know if you can see it light. It's a little red one there. So sometimes they don't work. Sometimes you have to troubleshoot them, you know, and and see but uh, as you saw I just turned it on and uh, one of the bits there and it, it should go out sometime when there it goes when it's out now and then it come back on so that's another one. see how easy it was just to get this uh, to work and there's the other things um, let's see matrix keypad there's a keypad and uh, LCD displays different types you know here's a, a bigger one now it's made an error because we're opening too many things and it can't figure out what it's doing so um, what else is interesting a temperature sensor temperature sensor there so I just wanted to share this for those who have an interest like me um, and don't have actually, you know, the thousand dollars to go spend on something. This will compile any size code. You know, not it's not just limited. So let me get this running again if I can. And we'll see the, the display thing start. Hopefully counting again. I just threw it. See how, see how it's working? It's, you can see every step of the way. 
every step of the way how the damn thing is uh is uh is functioning it's counting but it's so slow it is made to fool your eye there will be that's three and then it's just dust it is like the machine does it but it, the computer does it so fast you don't notice things you know, you're noticing this four, then it's five, then six. You know, that's like when you're filling your car up with fuel. You know, you can imagine this happening. There's a, your sensor picks up, you know, your flow meter thing, and then you see it there, eight gallons, then nine. So I just wanted to share this little thing. It does have is sometimes it, it gets kind of bogus because you know the the expensive program is easier to use and to use this sometimes you have to use different naming conventions and things like this. But it's a little bit of extra work and uh, once you know you know the differences you eventually end up migrating to something like this that can compile beyond the two kilobyte you know demo uh, limits of Keel. Keel is I think one of the best they have but this MCU 8051 IDE is the best I have seen and it has a lot of other things I haven't uh, you know uh mentioned like you can actually go out and do exter external memory external rom and it will write the codes you know it will compile it into a hex file to load into your uh, microchip with a with a programmer it's really some it is the best I have seen and I have tried dozens. I know every problem in every single freebie out there. This one does have its bugs. Sometimes these displays don't don't function like you know they're supposed to or you know maybe it was me not you know. Sometimes they, they have bugs. Sometimes I remember my L C D was kinda hard to sometimes but it they works, you know. I, I would say it could have been operator error. Mostly they work. I'm not 100% sure, but then, you know, when you write code, you don't know exactly. Uh, you're not exactly sure if your code is working or it's the new simulator you're trying out. So they have worked, you know, from the LCD screens. I haven't tried the keypad. And uh, that's, you know, that's the only thing, like, you know, the special function registers have a, a different syntax to, 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 call, to name them, you know. But there's a lot of information out there, you know, and SDCC is, comes with a manual and everything. And, and uh, it's just one of those, you know, things you can't beat, you know. If, you, if you're interested in this and you don't want to spend $1,000, you can use this for 8051 and um, uh, all kinds of 8051 things and other uh, you know reg stretch 51 uh, works there's a lot it goes into a lot of old ships too so it's Still, for the prize, it's a great best of simulator I've ever found. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I don't know if you can see these little registers here. I wish that the camera could see better. But everything is functioning. See the little numbers on the bottom there? You might not be able to see A register, B register. Well, B register. Yeah, B register is there. And then here... Um, Port 1 and Port 3, you know, Port 1 puts the digits up, Port 3 lights the, you know, the, the, 
the little LED, the which which seventh segment we're using. When it goes zero, they're all lit, but when it goes zero, it puts out the data on there. On the on the display. And that's how it works. That's how you're when you're fueling your car and you see them numbers scroll by, you know behind it is doing that there, a little green bar, rolling up and down and rolling round and round and round. Okay, over and out. Bye now. Uh.